Okay, we are going to solve the last problem on this chapter. introduction to trigonometry we will solve more questions when we are discussing the previous question papers so for the time being we will stop by doing this problem the chapter introduction to trigonometry and we will continue the next chapter introduction to trigonometry so uh, the last question on introduction to trigonometry is show that 1 plus tan square a divided by 1 plus cot square a is equal to 1 minus tan a the whole square 1 minus tan a divided by 1 minus cot a the whole square which is equal to tan square a we have to find out two results from this single question okay taking first of all we are taking 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a as the lhs lhs is equal to lhs is equal to 1 plus tan square a divided by 1 plus cot square a So please remember the identity. What is one plus tan square a? Six square a minus tan square a is equal to one. See, six square a minus tan square a is equal to one. Therefore, six square a is equal to one plus tan square a. So we can use this identity here. What is the result? One plus tan square a is equal to six square a. 6 square a divided by 1 plus cot square a what is the value of 1 plus cot square a for that remember the identity cos x square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 therefore cos x square a is equal to cos x square a is equal to 1 plus cot square a so instead of 1 plus cot square a we can write the result as cos x square a the value of 1 plus cot square a is cos x square a see what is sec square a sec is the reciprocal of cos sec is the reciprocal of cos therefore sec square a can be written as 1 by cos square a sec square a is 1 by cos square a we are using the symbol of the division instead of the division line by Divided by cos x square a. What is cos x square a? Cos x square a is equal to one by sine square a. Since cos x is the reciprocal ratio of sine, we can write cos x square a as one by sine square a. Now, one by cos square a. Division of the rule is multiply with the reciprocal. The reciprocal of one by sine square a is sine square a by one. Sine square a by one. One one. Get cancelled, and the remaining result is sine square a by cos square a, which is equal to sine by cos is equal to tan. So sine square a by cos square a is equal to tan square a. We arrived one result, or we solved one result. That is one plus tan square a by one plus cos square a is equal to tan square a, which is the RHS. we got the result of the first part now we are doing the second part we are again taking 1 minus tan a by 1 minus cot a the whole square as the lhs again lhs is equal to 1 minus tan a divided by 1 minus cot a the whole square which is equal to 1 minus what is tan a remember tan a is sin a by cos a sin a by cos a the whole divided by 1 minus what is cot a it is a cot a is the reciprocal of tan a so if tan a is equal to sin a by cos a then clearly cot a will be cos a by sin a 1 minus cos a by sin a This is equal to the whole square is here. We are taking the LCM and cross multiplying. It is cos a minus sine a. Cos a minus sine a 
the whole divided by cos a division again cross multiplying and taking the lcm it is sin a minus cos a sin a minus cos a the whole divided by sin a the whole square here we are taking the separate square as cos a minus sin a cos a minus sin a the whole square divided by cos square a then instead of this line we are putting the simple of the division divided by sin a minus cos a the whole square the whole divided by sin square a this is equal to cos a minus sin a the whole square we are writing the first fraction as itself cos a minus sin a the whole square cos a minus sin a the whole square divided by cos square a then multiply with the reciprocal so it is sin square a in the numerator sin square a divided by sin a minus cos a the whole square sin a minus cos a the whole square see in the first fraction the numerator is cos a minus sin a the whole square and in the second fraction the denominator is sin a minus cos a the whole square are they same don't be confused cos a minus sin a the whole square which is equal to sin a minus cos a the whole square because here is the property a minus b the whole square is equal to b minus a the whole square we are using this property here a minus b the whole square itself that is equal to b minus a the whole square because expanding a minus b the whole square it is a square plus b square minus 2ab expanding on b minus a the whole square it is b square plus a square minus 2ab now a square plus b square is equal to b square plus a square so a minus b the whole square is equal to b minus a the whole square now simply cos a minus sin a the whole square and sin a minus cos a the whole square is get cancelled because they are same both the terms are equal the remaining terms are sin square a by cos square a. lhs is equal to sin square a by cos square a which is equal to tan square a. Here also we are getting the RHS. LHS is equal to sin square a by cos square a which is equal to tan square a. So taking these two terms separately as the LHS we are obtaining the result tan square a as the RHS. So 1 plus tan square a by 1, 1 by 1 plus cot square a, tan square a by 1 plus cot square a is also equal to tan square a. 1 minus tan a by 1 plus 1 minus cot a the whole square is also equal to tan square a. Hence we have proved both the results. Hence proved. Hence proved both the result. So for the time being we are stopping the chapter here. By doing this problem we are stopping the chapter introduction to trigonometry. We will do more problems based on this chapter on the discussion of the question paper. The next chapter we are going to start is applications of trigonometry. Applications based on all these things we, are, we have to solve some uh, statements of that is the application. Okay.